All right, I'm gonna show you how to automate your link building with my iMacros video tutorials. All right, now the big advantage to this is you won't have to rely on other tools that all need to be updated at some point. You'll be doing your own updates immediately. All right, now iMacros does have documentation. Well, take a look at it, <laughs> right? It's written by geeks for geeks. I mean, iMacros can do a lot of things, but you don't need to know everything that it does. I'm gonna show you what you need to know to help you with internet marketing, specifically creating backlinks with either bookmarking sites, profile creation on forums, or adding links to web 2.0 style properties. All right, here's what you're getting. Installing iMacros. I go over the installation of iMacros on a Mac and a PC. There's a couple of tricky things uh, that you need to know on the Mac side. Overview of iMacros. It's basic stuff for noobs, nothing tricky. Recording your first iMacro. Right, I show you how to uh, make one that can check your email on your Yahoo account, and, and I do another one that shows how to post a bookmark on Folked. Inserting data. Right, I show you how to retrieve and insert data from a CSV file. This is sort of the bread and butter of working with iMacros, and this will show you how to get data up onto the web. I use a Tumblr bookmark as an example. Post multiple. I, I show you with one click how to post multiple bookmarks automatically on Folked using what I call the long format. Using the loop button. Again, I show you how to post multiple bookmarks automatically in Folk with one click, but this time I'm using the loop button or what I call the short format. The wildcard. All right, I show you the wildcard symbol and where you should use it. The comment and wait commands. These are two useful commands when you're editing an iMacro and I'm using Blinklist as an example. The variable command. I show you how to enter data via a prompt window, and I use Yahoo Buzz and Dig as examples. I also show you how it works in getting data up onto stat sites. Auto sign up. I show you how to enter URLs from a CSV file and how to create accounts automatically. And I'm using a WordPress MU site as an example. Working with a text editor. I show you how to use an external text editor to edit, copy, and paste iMacros quickly. Keyboard macros. Okay, I show you a little trick that I've learned that helps you speed up the creation process and editing of iMacros. Bookmark signups. All right, I show you the entire process of how to create an iMacro signup for a bunch of bookmarking sites. Bookmarking. All right, I create one iMacro that with one click can post to many different bookmarking sites. Profile creation. I show you how to sign up and create forum profiles and then show you how to save that URL so you can use it for RSS feeds or pinging. Okay, along with the videos, you'll also be getting at least 50 bookmarking iMacros. Uh, I've already gone through the process of creating a sign-up sequence and a script for posting all the necessary data like URL, title, descriptions, and tags. You yourself will be able to update all of this as the sites change over time. Okay, I grouped the data into two categories, ones with caption and, well, ones without. This way, you'll need the fewest amount of clicks to get everything posted. You'll also be getting access to my iMacros trading form. This is where I'll be updating my bookmarking iMacros and we'll be adding additional ones in the future. If you had any questions uh, about a particular recording scenario, hopefully either I or well, someone else can give you the answer.